tragic news felt around the world. The loss of celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain, whose body was found at this luxury hotel in France where he was filming for his award-winning show, Parts Unknown. Bourdain was found in his room today after committing suicide. He was only 61 years old. He left a mark in all the places he traveled, including right here in South Florida. Local 10's Glenna Milberg has the story from Miami Beach, a city he loved to visit. Because you never knew when he was coming, he just showed up. It was either four in the morning or eight in the morning. The road Anthony Bourdain traveled was not the glitz and glamorous. Club Deuce was a favorite. Yeah, this is the old Miami. You come in unpretentious. The half-century-old South Beach bar was just the kind of place Bourdain discovered and shared as he traveled to parts unknown, an observant, insightful raconteur using the universal language of food to connect cultures and communities. He was exactly as he appears on camera and off, and it was the most, it was one of the greatest three-hour meals. We connected with filmmaker Alfred Spillman <laughs> in front of the not-so-famous Stone Crab Joint, where he and partner Billy Corbin helped Bourdain map his Miami episode in 2015. We talked a lot about uh, the history of Miami as being a sunny place for shady people and uh, kind of the evolution of the city being such a new city, a new American city, and what that represented. Let's show the Miami that we don't see on TV. Bourdain did the beach yeah, with Iggy Pop, immersed in the cultures, Little Haiti, Little Havana, this with Local 10 SoFlo coffee. taste host Michelle it. Bernstein, and he managed to really, well, get it. It was really a place created by fantasists, crackpots, dreamers, con men. Bourdain looked for authentic grit behind the stagey glamour, and after coming up in the kitchens, found his professional success in his mid-40s. He was 61. What I really took away from that was that, uh, you know, you're never too old for a second act. So many people here were so stunned to hear. And in this bar tonight at about 11, especially the industry people, people who work in the restaurant and bar industry that consider Bourdain one of their own, they are all planning to come here tonight. 10 or 11, it starts pretty late and have a little gathering in his name. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in South Beach tonight, Local 10 News. Oh, and that gathering will be packed. Glenna, thank you. Experts report that unfortunately more and more people are committing suicide, but there is always help out there. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, 1-800-273-8255.